Hello students, today we are going to be learning about how to use the laser printer. It's one of the best pieces of technology we have in this room. Uh, it's really simple to use, but we're going to have to go through the certification process just like uh, any other tool. So you're going to have to take a written exam, as well as using the actual, actually demonstrating proficiency in the tool. So let's go ahead and learn some of the details uh, that you'll need to know on how to use this tool safely. So the program that we use to actually connect to the laser and do all our drawing is called Corel. Um, so when you're setting up your document in Corel, it's important that you set up your paper size to be this match the same dimensions of your piece size or the thing that you want to cut out. Um, so the document that you're creating needs to have the page size that's the same. So if this is 7 inches by 12 inches, then you need to set up your page size in your initial document at the same dimensions. This is really, really important. When you want to vector something out, and remember that vector means cutting it physically out, you need to do two things. One, you need to change the line color so it's red, and also, very, very important, you need to select the line, you need to change the line type to hairline. So you can change the different weights of line, but to, for it to cut out, to vector, you need to have it as a hairline. Or, you can raster out different text which it doesn't matter if it's, it does not need to be a hairline, you can have any other line type or letters. So that's very, very important. If you want to cut something out, it needs to be a hairline and it needs to be red. If you want to raster something, which is just etching it, then you do not have to do that. Once you've done everything on the computer and you're ready to start printing, you need to actually focus the laser and set your material. You need to put your place your material in the top left corner in the same orientation as your drawing. So you need to make sure you place that in there. Next, you need to manually focus this laser. So we're going to take this gauge, which is stored on top, upside down here. So this gauge, we need to flip it over onto these pins. Then we hit the focus button on the, on the keypad, and we can use the up and down button to actually move the surface of the table up and down. So we're going to hit the up button because it's too low until the material is just barely touching the bottom of the gauge. So you want it barely touching, but you don't want it to go too high. So we're going to get it just right, we're going to take the gauge off, flip it back upside down into its storage position, and then finally the last thing we need to do is hit reset, and the machine will go back into its original position. When you're actually ready to start printing, uh, and you have your design done, and the, fo and the laser is properly focused, then you need to go through the print dialog um, settings. So to do that, you can hit file print, or control P and then that's going to bring up your print settings. Now it's important that you're selecting the correct printer when you're actually setting it for the printer job. The epilogue, the one on the left, is the epilogue helix, which the printer is called epilogue engraver win x64, when the one on the right is the epilogue zing. So we've selected the correct printer and we need to go into our preferences. Preferences are going to open a new dialogue box. Now the first thing that you need to do, which is really, really important, is you need to set up your piece size to be the same size as your page size and the same size as your material. This is really important. If you don't do this as your first step, then it's easy to forget and then your print won't come out correct and you're going to ruin your material. So I need to change my dimensions here to whatever my page size is for my original drawing. Once we have that done, then we can go in and start changing some of our settings. There are two types of ways to cut on the laser. Raster is where you're etching things on top of the surface, and vector is where you're actually cutting things out. You can select two different jobs. You can select a raster-only job, a vector-only job, or a combined job that does both. So for this job, we're only gonna, we're gonna do com combination. So we're going to change our raster settings and all the different raster settings will be different for each material. So you'll need to find out what material you'll have and then change the raster and the vector settings to match. Since we're just doing paper, then we're going to need 100 speed for the raster and 35 power. So I'll go 100 speed and 35 power. 35. And if I want to vector it out, then I need to go 100 speed, 15 power, and 5,000 frequency. So for my vector settings, You'll go 100 speed, 15 power, and 5,000 for my frequency. Once I've done that, I can hit OK. I can hit Print. 
and it won't nothing will actually print but it's really important that you check to make sure that you've got a new job in your printer queue so to do that you'll actually look in where it's on the screen where it says job number two and it should have the name of your document since I didn't name anything it's still titled untitled one once you have all of your settings ready to go you've select correctly set up the printer you've correctly focused the printer then you're actually ready to print before you can do that, you must turn on the ventilation system, which has the power button right here. There's another important piece of safety equipment. Um, if you are vectoring out something, then you need to also turn on this little blower. It's down here, and the power switch is right there. And what that is going to do is it's going to cause a little stream of air to come out and help blow out any flames that come up. The last step to actually get it to print is to print the go button. And that's going to cause the laser to actually start firing and start etching your material.